Good morning, folks. Solar watch for increased activity begins tomorrow as an active region is cresting into view. We've got a lot to hit today, but we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com and finding the quiet sunspot group marching on the north, happily and calmly to the right. But on the left, we see brightness, umbral magnetic field loops just behind the limb. Indeed, a sunspot will soon be cresting into view. Using stereo A a few months behind in our orbit, we can see over to that side and see the incoming active region. It will crest onto that Earth-facing half tonight and into tomorrow. Meanwhile, the solar wind is at a small relative crest to its own stream there, not much power and drawn out over two days. That means our geomagnetic conditions at Earth are still calm and in the green. But we do, of course, have more coronal holes. We saw in pink 211 angstrom view here yesterday. Some have departed, and so another solar wind intensification from them is expected this weekend. Top quake of the last day struck well south in the Atlantic Ocean near the South Sandwich Islands, magnitude 6.5. Let's go over to the articles, and this one shows a multi-year change in the brunt ice shelf. Chasms, spreads, cracks, they mark the shelf that is about to break loose and release a ton of cold, fresh water. Hubble released its latest shot here, M2, one of the first he ever did. They mark it as a gravitational cluster, almost as if they're asking for Sophia and the National Labs to debunk that idea again here in 2019. Anyway, Hera. DART Impactor, the mission to study and self-guide the process of asteroid redirection. This article was mostly about the many point check and autopilot self-driving system that will keep the craft where it is supposed to be. Interesting article up next on coronal rain. Not found where they thought it would be, a potential heating source for the corona and analysis point. And not only that, but a potential source for slow solar wind. They did forget to mention what happens if the arch gets too tall and the double layer explodes beneath them. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. If you missed episode 23 of Earth Catastrophe Cycle, it was the finale last night. Sort of. There's a ton we cut from the various episodes. New data, interviews, more coming in the full movie compilation this year, but for now, Watch the finale and all the episodes in the series to catch up. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.